my name is Ella Papanek and I'm a quantitative sports trader here at SIG. I started playing chess when I was eight years old. My brother taught me and I grew up very close to Union Square Park in Washington Square Park in New York City and so I used to go and play with the people there in the parks. Chess players are very good decision makers. Uh, they're constantly reasoning about the hypothetical paths that the game could take. They're also very good at thinking about what their opponent is thinking and integrating that into their decision making process. My name is Jerry Yang and I'm a macro analyst here at SIG. I discovered chess pretty much after watching Queen's Gambit. I was like, this is an awesome game. The strategy and the calculation is really what I think makes the game beautiful, where every time you're asking yourself that question of, hey, I'm making this move, and what possible moves might they do in response, and then zooming back out to yourself, I think is really like what makes chess a, a wonderful game. In chess, you often face situations where you have to make decisions under time pressure, and so you're not going to be able to realistically assess all of the options, but you still have to think through what matters and what doesn't matter and make a decision off of that, which is a common thing that I have to do in trading. I do use that reciprocal thinking on my day-to-day, -day where I'm asking myself that question of, hey, what are other people going to do in, in stock markets and other markets, et cetera? I need to be extremely cognizant of all of these other pieces on the metaphorical chessboard in order to distill that into one, hey, like this is the driving narrative, this is what's going to happen, and this is what's important for, for trading. My name is Jonathan Sakenik, and I am on the trader education team here at SIG. So right. on the first this one, right, it comes yeah. out of here, yeah, so right. and if you want to, are you doing this. the sixth case? Yeah, oh, yeah. I spend a lot of time building curriculum and lecturing along with doing some interviews for our uh, newer and prospective candidates. I am kind of giving them the rundown of the basics of both the business and options education, and I use both lecture format and board games to accomplish this. So you would remove one if you had one, but instead we just get points equal to the numbers in our hand. The idea of using board games kind of started off with how the company was founded using poker and poker principles. I'm able to kind of form a plan of just using board games to allow people to experience a lot of different situations and help them express themselves and guide them through those sorts of processes. So instead of just keeping them in the option space to get them better at options, you can kind of work on very focused efforts if you choose the right board game. While as a part of the education process, we're using poker kind of as a tool for education and also uh, in terms of socialization, there's kind of a one big opportunity every year for people to compete in a free poker tournament at SIG. Whether or not it's your first game of poker, or you're a seasoned veteran, everyone has kind of uh, an equal starting point, equal footing, but you see a lot of nice camaraderie. Uh, I participate in every year, both you know, take my stab at those top prizes, along with getting to meet some coworkers that I wouldn't have met otherwise. I think gaming is such an essential part of SIG culture because gamers are often people who have a sense of grit who are passionate but also persistent, and they'll take the same thing over and over and over and iterate it over and over and over to get better and better. Playing games, doing puzzles, doing math problems is all a very core part of the culture. So it felt very natural for me because that was something I had been thinking about throughout most of my life. And so it was cool to kind of meet a community of people where asking those questions was very natural and, and people wanted to reason through those kinds of things with me. SIG is a fantastic opportunity, whether you're a gamer, whether you just have a lot of entrepreneurial spirit, uh, as long as you are ready to be in an environment that kind of sees you for who you are, helps get you to the place you want to be, and really just care about your growth and development while having a great community, SIG is the place for you.